Hey guys, welcome to game four. Between Rancor and Masucci, upper right-hand corner, we have Rancor starting as the white Zerg. Bottom right-hand corner, we have Masucci starting as the brown Zerg. Overlords this time are heading to the upper left-hand corner and bottom left-hand corner for either player equivalently. And this is game four of Fighting Spirit Mania. Set six of seven, Masucci currently up, th or sorry, two to one. Not three to one, two to one. And let me know if the audio bounces off again, or if I'm getting any sort of mic. Eventually, I'm going to get all this figured out. There was an update to Ob Studio recently, and so I'm not sure whether it's uh, messed up. Eventually, I'm going to get like some VST stuff running in the background. But anyway, it's been a pleasure to cast these, by the way. The ZVZ, I feel like I've been able to do in the meantime. Um, I'm very excited for BSL Season 14 coming up very, very soon. The latter stages are just about finished as the moment of recording this. And my guess is by the time this is up on YouTube, the games will actually be played. I know at least... Th so I don't have April's schedule yet, but I do know that I should be able to cast at least three of the group stages in March. And we'll see how that goes. Hopefully, I'm excited to do so. Especially with kind of the new split grouping, and we'll see what region I end up casting. It looks like we are seeing... Was that a 9-hatch? Sorry, that's a 12-hatch. No, that's 9-hatch. Nine 9-hatch nine for Rancor. Add expansion! this time, rather than going for another location. And are we seeing a 12... We're seeing a 12 hatch! Ah, uh, 12 hatch from Masucci. So Masucci opting, and I think he maybe has caught wise. He's like, okay, the Overlord Scout maybe learned something, or maybe he's been doing that the entire time, and I've just not uh, noted it. But this time, going for a 12 scout. Rancor going for a... Or sorry, a 12, a 12 hatch. 9 hatch opposite side. Spawning pool coming down. And this isn't going to be... Again, it feels like Rancor so many times has just run into a uh, build order disadvantage in the early games. And I don't think Masucci is map hacking. I definitely don't. I think it just has to do with... And it's crazy because how many games have we seen this happen? Part of it is, is I think just Mas it, there, there were so many 12 pools versus 9 pools. And I think that's just what Masucci is more comfortable with compared to Rancor's 9 pools. Uh, but anyway, Overlord... Now adjusting path. I like this Overlord adjustment path from Rancor. It might help should it move towards the layer stage of things. Three drones in gas still sitting at nine. So behind in the early economy. Might want to go for a Zergling Flood. So there's six Zerglings being produced here initially. Spawning Pool is just going to finish opposite side from Masucci. And he's got a big lead on initial resources. I would expect him to produce... Zerglings as well, so additional Zerglings right there, and this doesn't leave a lot of options for Rancor. Immediate Tech to Lair. No Tech to Lair as of yet, unless it was at... No, no Tech to Lair as of yet, potentially because of a deficit in resources. Zergling Speed is being upgraded for Rancor. Zergling Speed potentially going to be upgraded down the line, so there is going to be a window, I think, where Zergling Speed might finish for Rancor, which and he's actually going to go all in Zerglings here. He's going to go all in Zerglings. He's pulled drones off gas to make this happen. Some Zerglings down here from Masucci. If Masucci can hold on and he's got a more sizable economy to make it work with, he's got equivalent larva. Rancor currently saved. So the Overlord's passing. So he's got a little bit of time to pull the trigger here. Basically, by the time this Overlord kind of hits this creep line and sees that the hatchery is not morphing. To know that it's just Zerglings, Zerglings, Zerglings coming through. Masucci... Though it looks like he's producing a lot of Zerglings. He does have Zergling speed being produced in the background. So Rancor is going to need to get it done. It's about even supply right now. But keep in mind that's going to be about, what, six Zerglings difference? Because of the drone count. The Zerglings starting to gather up. A nice little concave wall here from Masucci. But Rancor needs to not just take out the natural expansion. He needs to take out a Spire or something. Masucci starting to move out. The Zerglings getting caught a little bit out of position for both players. I think Rancor has... Less concavity, but he's getting superior damage out of it. Now reposition and a re-engage. This is going to be it for Rancor. Rancor continuing to press the Zerglings down. It looks like initially he's going to go for that hatchery. The Zerglings having sufficient numbers to go ahead and wipe out Masucci's lower line. Engaging troops. And this is an overwhelming amount of Zerglings for Rancor. He might be able to get it done even with the Mutalisks in the air. And Masucci calls GG. The series is tied again 2-2. Two -two. Back and forth with these guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Well played by Rancor. Thanks for listening.